Nightwing The New Order, number five. This is uh, Kel Higgins writing, Trevor McCarthy on art. And, <laughs> and we obviously we have the sort of tail end of what we left off last time. Uh, they're, they're getting his son. Uh-huh. And they're fighting their way out. Uh, the son uses his powers to actually help them get out. And Lois, with sheer willpower, even though the blue ring is not supposed to work. I love it. I love it. Without a green lantern. Yeah. Yeah. That's something I normally would hate, but the fact that it's Lois Lane and she's just like, look, I am all willpower. And it makes sense. She even more so than, than Hal. You I don't know. know. I'm going to. I don't have a problem with this, Matt, but I'm going to criticise yeah. your rating it off because it's Lois Lane, because this is just mm-hmm. like Because Batman. This is exactly oh, what this is. Because, oh, I'm not incapable of that. I just, yeah. It's not a thing that I've had people use against me a million times. Why this? Why that? You know? Because it's, it's this, this, this could be the exact same with Batman, where he has a lot of willpower. He's like, I'm all willpower. And it would be the same scene would play out. And you would hate yeah, he it. Would, yeah, but he wouldn't be a Hope Lantern. Let's be real. That dude that dude has a Sinestro ring. But yeah, she she creates the wall, which I thought was a cool moment. Got them out. What I'm liking here with Higgins is I keep forgetting like it's his son that's doing the narration. Mm. And so this is a this is all post whatever's going to happen. So and, yeah, it's all past tense, yeah. Yeah, and so the decisions we see Dick make, and like, man, we get to the end of this issue. And you're just like, oh, this isn't ending well for him. There's yeah, no way that he, it can. Yeah, he's still contacting Kate. He's wanting to turn them in. Because they, they want to like, try and find this cure. And he's like, no, we're yep. not doing this. They have to knock him out. His son's against him, like what his plan is. He wants to go yep. with with, uh, with Starfire and the team. His mom. And yeah. they go to Metropolis, which is apparently like a disaster zone in this future. And depowered Superman, who's a bit of a big warrior, shows up. He's still with yeah, Lois. Yeah, Viking they're, they're, Superman. Yeah, they're, they're happy. Awesome. They're happy to see each other, so they're still a thing. Uh-huh. He's working with scientist Lex Luthor, who's got a robotic arm, <laughs> to try and get this cure going. The idea that Lex is trying to help him get superpowers back is an insane concept. I love it. I love it, and I love the fact that they talk about how far Grayson's become. You know that you know sometimes in order to do good things, you become a bad person. Yeah. Well, Lex Luthor knows that more than anybody. I, I like the idea you that know? when superpowers go away, Lex realizes what what the world loses, and he's helping yeah. to fight get them back. I like that, and even yeah. even he said, uh, you know, Dick's son's whole speech about, you know, some people did do good with powers, and all you did was take away that choice. Uh, yeah. So let's give them that choice back. Like, it's, it's a very hopeful message, and it's, it's, it kind of speaks mm-hmm. to a lot of this stuff. Uh, well, and I like that that Dick won't even move on the program. He's like, nah, I set this up, and like, okay. Yeah, we'll take out the freezers where we put people in stasis, but we're not losing anything else. But like, we, we're, we'll still run this. Yeah, I mean, we learned some stuff about the backstory that the Batman had the machine first, and Dick talked him out of using it, and it was losing Batman that actually led to Dick kind of changing his mind. And how did we lose Batman? Uh, with Black Kryptonite infected Superman, that full page spread of Superman just heat visioning Batman's head to <laughs> obliteration. Oh, I no joke. Reading this, I yelled, "Holy shit!" Was not expecting that. Cause, when we cause, got there. Yeah, because because Superman's talking to uh, Dick's son, and he just says, yeah. "Oh, you, do you know how it happened?" And then you turn the page, and it's just him blasting his face with heat vision. Yeah. It is insane. And he's like, "Goes black kryptonite," and even Superman feels guilty. He's like, "Yeah, but still." Like, oh yeah. By the way, I love that Lex comes in and says, "And I know what you're thinking. It wasn't me." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. Yeah. yeah. Which makes me wonder if this is a Joker scenario type deal, uh, kind of like Injustice. You know what I mean? I where... could see that. Yeah, like maybe they go down that route where the Joker corrupted Superman, and that's what led to all this bad stuff happening. I yeah, could see that. and you know, but again, Dick is a tragic character in that. Yeah, he did what he did, and it looks like he's starting to edge towards it. But he tells Kate, he's like, "Okay, I can give you the insurrection, but I keep my son." Well, like Wally, I mean, they call him out in his hypocrisy, and I think here at the yeah. end it's like, no, if you let me keep my son, I will help you in every possible way. It, it is so hypocritical, and I'm curious to see how we end this, because the next issue is the last one, issue six is the yeah. final, so I'm curious yeah. to see how they wrap this up, how they, if Dick does have his arc and like gets to the, you know, or if this is a swerve, like he's luring Kate into a trap in some way, which yeah, doesn't, maybe. doesn't seem like it, but I mean, maybe they'll, I, they'll do that with us. I just, I don't think it's going to end well for Dick Grayson, no. that's all. I feel... This has tragedy written all over it. This is the first cover that didn't feel like a propaganda cover. So I like how that balance happens here. Yeah. Because you know, now we have Warrior Superman on the cover looking... I could 
almost see the ultimate thing in being like Dick gave up who he was and started this all years ago, mm-hmm. and that's what led to his end, his demise. Like maybe he'll die, yeah. and like no, the message is no because he gave up who he was and he gave into fear. It led to this. It led to everything bad that's ever happened, and you know he deserves all of it because he gave up yeah. who he was. If that's ultimately the message, I could maybe get behind that as a as an else world. Yeah. Uh, so that's definitely that's cool. Uh, so no, it was an enjoyable issue. Uh, you know. Uh, the, the, the Superman Batman murder being the, the, the standout oh. kind of shock moment. <laughs>